Oh, I get a giant butt. That's nice. You know, let's, let's try to get our butt as big as it possibly can get. Actually, I think our butt is already as big as it can possibly be. Wonderful. Do you, do you, do you enjoy the badonkadonk that I have, sir? What was that? What was that? What was what, what, what was the sound that I was hearing there? Uh, it made me a little concerned, to be quite honest. Uh, come on, pop, pop. I'm, I'm. Why can I not pop? There, there you go. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that my booty is in fact as bootylicious as it will possibly be. Oh well. Oh, oh, oh! Never mind. The booty has been enhanced. Oh, look at this. You can't even, you can't get implants this good. This, oh my. I'm gonna get, this is gonna get censored on YouTube. I don't think you can show this. Oh, look at that. All right, we're not even on the planet that I'm supposed to be on. I hope you can hear that wonderful, clacky old, clacky old thinger. Oh, we have even more. I, I forgot that the sun is also a different level. So yeah, Neptune! Let's go to see how that meme lord is doing. Oh, it's, it's appropriately purple! Is that, is this just the word rainbow? Just, just the word rainbow. In rainbow. Oh my gosh. It... <laughs> they were physics objects! They weren't just attached to each other. Oh my gosh, are they gonna- they're gonna fall and form. That's the best thing I ever saw. They're just connected enough. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cool, actually! Wow. Okay. So Neptune is slightly purple, which makes sense. It's got some rainbows. It's a lot of rainbows in general in this game. <gasps> Zero out of ten! You, you get out of here, IGN man! I will eat you. I will eat you and poop you, you out of my <laughs> bodacious booty. And my surprisingly thick legs. Look at that thick boy. This is thick boy. Oh. So I, th I thought that was like Parker making horrible noises, but no, that's just... Oh, the directionality of this, like, game, like... I'm not used to games having proper directional audio. Um, which is a shame! Like, it, uh, uh, it back... In like 2000, like four, whatever Unreal 2 came out, I was super interested in directional audio, and I thought this is how games are gonna be, and they're gonna have 7.1 audio and everything. I'm, you know, I'm gonna hear stuff coming up behind me. I'll shoot it in the face. And m a lot of games have really bad directional audio, and uh, some don't even offer it at all. And it's just kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened to directional audio. There's a big old sushi roll going around. But yeah, I, I thought it was going to be so cool and that stereo speakers are going to be great, but uh, honestly, a proper pair of um, speakers. I do wish we got like binaural, properly in, binaural encoded sounds in games and stuff. Maybe with, with virtual reality, I think that's something that might happen um, because, you know, immersion is the name of the game in uh, virtual reality, so hopefully some really cool sound stuff happens with VR. And and that's something that could actually, you know, translate to, you know, 2D games as well. You know, 2D as opposed to VR anyway. I'm, not, I'm never quite sure what to call it. Because, like, you say 2D games and it has, you know, people think of, you know, like drawings, like, like Skullgirls stuff. Oh, hello. Her hair is dragons. And she's got that vaporwave face. Hello. Oh, your neck is snapped. And they got, they got Sailor Scout outfits. Wonderful. What a wonderful world we live in, my friends. To be blessed with this. Also, those weird things. What, what are these things? They, they, they're in all kinds of, uh, like, noodle bowls. They look, like, almost candy-like, but they're just, like, just random bits of pasta with a swirl in it. Is it just... It's just for visual flair, isn't it? I don't know. This place is... Uh, there's a lot of vaporwave horrible snake maidens but I thought it's oop bull hello mr. bull Whee! how do I how do I 
I'm not how, sure how to tilt the camera up, honestly. Do, wait, do these... Do these buttons do things? I don't think the face buttons do things. Oh, oh, oh! The, it's the D-pad. The, the D-pad and the right thing. And, and R1 are how you uh, mess with the, uh, the camera tilt. Okay. Interesting. This game has very complicated control, like camera controls, because both sticks are used to control your boy. I think I've said this before, but if you don't follow the creator of Katamari on Twitter, you need to do that. He even posts pictures of boy and stuff to this day. He's so proud of boy. I also like how much amazing amount of like personality and like style can be expressed with basically one of the most minimal possible faces. I'll show you what I mean here in a second once we get past the loading. But like almost everything in the game has the same face, but it's just so personable. Like just boy's face. Just oh, we've, we've got even more vapor wave. But just you know, just this face, just this beautiful face with that freaking mountainous booty. Ooh. Look at that. Girl. Oh, bird lady. Hello, bird lady. Oh, you're bird sir? Possibly. Look at the- look at, look at- this is freaking- I, I wish this place was more pink than purple. Cause this is totally vaporwave paradise. It's even got the sushi and the, the sake? I think? Sake? I think that's actually how you say that, but yeah. I assume that's supposed to be sake. And look at the sushi things! You got sushi cars! Holy crap! And we got goldfish crackers in the sky. Yeah, you know, I, I, I never thought I would need goldfish crackers in the sky. Yet here we are, and now I need them, thanks to this game. This game teaches you things. Things about yourself. Things about life. Things about the universe. Things about goldfish crackers. You know, my first exposure to sushi, and I'm sure this was a lot of people's first exposure to sushi, even if they didn't know what it was, was, um... The Slowpoke sushi eating game in um, in uh, Pokemon Stadium. I had no idea what that crap was. I had I had to ask my parents, and they said it was weird fish garbage, which it is. I don't like sushi. Is this is there a, a, a freaking tornado stuck inside of this building? This is beautiful. I want this. This I, I I wanted the Rainbow Castle thing last time, but this is also a good building. We had we had this like fake mini castle that we would go out and hang out in like it was built for kids and stuff i think like it was only like two stories tall but it was like it was a castle dude like, when you're a kid things that small like two stories is a lot to a kid you know that's as many as you can count i mean i wasn't that little but uh, it, it was still really cool you you were in a castle you were in a four real castle made out of rocks and like the, the edges were all jagged and it was just so freaking cool and, you know, you could, you could, you know, run around, play make-believe, be, like, be knights and stuff. You know, it, it was awesome stuff. But, uh, oh, this is definitely Japanese land. Look at, we got so much bamboo and... What, what are these things, though? I think I've seen these before. These, like, doll things. Like, they're people now. But, like, I think I've seen these doll things. Are these, like... Traditional Japanese thing thingarinos? Weren't these in, um, wasn't there something like this in, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, Fatal Frame 2? Aren't there little dolls of, like, the little girl? Like, one of the various sacrifices. Oh, my badonkadonk is too bootylicious to fit through the thing. Oh, oh, that is, oh, that is lewd. That is, that is the cover of a hentai manga right there, my friends. The camera seems to like partially ignore your input like when you try to change the pitch too much. Look at all of these Oddish sprouts. I'm pretty sure this is how Oddishes are born. See, we even have the Japanese letters. I guess this is a very Japanese land. I'm not sure what this- Oh my god, they're holding plates of sushi. Actually, they're holding like clogs with sushi on them. I just noticed. Oh, it's the, the, um, the things that that one weird Pokemon are based on. You know the ones, the, the weird angry dude. I forget what I forget even what the Pokemon's name is. We got paper lanterns. Yeah, Neptune is apparently Japanese, which, which, 
This game is before Hyper Dimension Neptunia, but it's making me think of Neptune a lot. Which isn't always positive. I love the series, but I'm kind of tired of the character. Neptune was the best in Mark II, which is not even in there that much, but she isn't just enough. You'd be like, you get the references and you get you get the energy, but you don't get the insufferableness. You don't get, you know, oh, hey, look at me. I'm so good. I am the most bestest character. And I'm going to complain every second I'm not on screen. It's like, wow, that's that's not endearing at all. Oh, so this is made out of different parts. Get, get out of here. Get My booty demands that you move. I'm so glad that my bodacious badonkadonk has been maintained through levels, because wow, I mean, look at this thing. It, it, it's beautiful. It's It's got its own gravity, you know. All the boys on the yard gravitate towards my booty. Oh, we've got some tuna with like soft, soft end tails, like holy crap. Is that like a real tuna thing? Do they have those? That looks like freaking dangerous. Oh, it's a submarine. Hey, Mr. Submarine. You're not yellow, but you'll do. Get, get, get back here, friend. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat your. I'm gonna eat the dude out of your thing. I must. I must give nutrition to the badonkadonk. Give yes. You don't get a booty like this without eating a few humans, or whatever these are. I'm not sure this is considered human, but you know it, it's pretty close. Oh, it's an ocean sunfish. It's a mola mola. They're so weird. Those those are real things. And they're huge, too. They're not, like, small. They're freaking gargantuan. They're, like, I think they're, like, the size of a person. They're amazing. Um, that's what Kine is from Kirby, the weird fish thing. Kine is actually a less exaggerated Mola Mola. He's actually, like, like, he doesn't, like, like, they're weirder than Kine. They're weirder than video games. Video games are too normal for Mola Mola. See, so, yeah, Neptune is just straight up Japan. It's interesting. You know, with there's some minor embellishments. Also, is that a panda in there? Oh my god, is that- Did that- Did that tuna just attack me? You wanna fight? You wanna fight, bro? You cannot withstand the booty. The booty will crush you. You do not disrespect the booty, or the booty will disrespect you. Right, be it, let, let me know. I Like, I, I, there's another series I'm kind of making where I'm doing, like- sort of 15 minute videos. I, I wonder if people prefer that, because I heard some people say that, you know, they, they try to watch things that are like 15 minutes, 30 minutes maximum for like Let's Play style content. And I do notice the live stream um, archives do tend to get a little bit lower viewership, like not not horribly, like, um, I don't know, at worst it's maybe half, which I mean, isn't great, but it's not like devastating. Um, what the hell is that? I don't like that. I want I want that out of here. Get get it out of here. Get get it out. Get you you oh, it's stuck in the grass. The fake cardboard grass. Whoa. Why is this fake cardboard grassland? Or are these fences? Is this is this, I can't tell if this is like a giant pr grass prop or a fence. Speaking of fence, I kinda want a fence. Just to like, I, I I'm weird about my privacy. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's just being shy slash anxiety, but like, I'm always worried that people would be like looking at me like if I will I just like chill outside and like play video games. Like people will stare at me and it's like, realistically, even if they were, it would never affect me. But you know, my brain's just like, nah, you can't, you can't do that, my friend. You just gotta stay inside. Even when it's like, well, this summer was so awful that I couldn't ever do that anyway, because I would like boil alive. But um, in theory. It would be nice to be like, just sit outside, enjoy some sun, play some video games, relax in relative privacy. But yeah, I'll probably, at some point, arena, build a fence arena. Is that ice cream? Oh, those look lewd. Oh my, you can't show that in a video game. Are those, are those tangerines? What, what is this? Like freaking cupcake houses with tangerine toppings. You can't put a tangerine on the top. There's skin on that, bro. Wait, are those tomatoes or not? No, that's I think that's a tangerine. It's a little bit too orange to be a tomato. Yeah, there's all these like things. I keep wanting to call them darunias, but no, that's that's the Goron. I think that's something with a D. Oh, he's got freaking rotating sushi arms. Holy, he has three faces. He's the triplet man. He's. 
Oh man, this 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 guy is my new new age hero. He is he is beautiful, he is strong, he is powerful, and he doesn't need no man except himself. Because you gotta believe in yourself. And I just killed him. But you know what? Oh wait, no, he's fine. I think he just naturally rumbles because of his own fearsome aura. Okay, I was hoping he would cut me in half. But uh, as has been mentioned, getting cut in half is fairly difficult. But you know what? With a booty like this, it's okay. With a booty like this, you know, I I'm alright with life in general. What is this? Is this a samurai? Like, thing? Uh, did, did, did the booty get bigger? I don't think my booty gets any bigger than this. Oh, look at that booty. It's got its own gravitational pull, my friends. That is how bootylicious it is. Oh, it, the booty finally fit through the, uh, the things. Alright, one last world. Or level, whatever. Oh, right, and I gotta, I gotta do the zoom out. I wanna do the zoom out on each world just so you can see the little duder. It's like looking down at you. It's not gonna be another, you know, Michelangelo's David looking weirdo this time. At least I don't think. But, uh... It's funny, I've visited all of these planets at least once before. But there's so much stuff I don't even remember. But it has been... You know, year Is that just like a billion of those... It's just a billion. They look like gumdrop or like jawbreakers or whatever. Oh, now I want, I want, there's these gumball things with the nerds inside them, like the nerd candy thing. They're so freaking good. Like you get the gumball itself is pretty good. And you know, it has that standard sugary taste. And then, but once you bite into it, you get, you get the, uh, the nerds, the, the sour flavor. And it just prolongs the, the goodness of the gum. Cause you know, gum, good gum doesn't last long. You know, at least the sugary type. You know, you don't get it for very long. Uh, if you like spicy stuff, I actually recommend cinnamon gum because it kind of maintains its flavor long enough. If you don't like spicy stuff, it'll probably just drive you insane. But uh, it sort of maintains its flavor longer than the sugar stuff because I guess the sugar just, you know, gets digested. Uh, but anyway, nerds um, bubble gum like ball things. Uh, if you've never had them, like, you could probably order these online. Like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna look this up. This is how important this is, my friends. Uh, I'm going to Amazon.com. I'm gonna find you Nerds Gumballs. Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's a recommendation. 20 bucks for three pounds of Nerd Gumballs. I have no concept of, like, how many Gumballs is in a pound, but that sounds like a lot. Um, 49 pieces per pound. See, that's that's a lot of balls, my friend. You got a lot of balls coming in here. Look at how tiny they are. I, I've I've I'm sorry. Uh, the nerds topic was so important. I kind of neglected the game, but look how tiny. Th they're smaller than the booty, than the amazing bodacious booty. There's so many margins in this game. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat everybody. I'm sorry. I'm so sad that they run. Why must they run? I just don't. I just want to devour them and to fill. The booty is even bigger. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. It's its own. It's its own planet now. It has orbital debris. The booty. Oh. Oh. The booty was too much. The booty was too much. I flew too close to the sun, and my booty got burnt. <laughs> My booty is still full. Alright. What a fantastic game this is. Alright, one more. Just one just, just one more hit. Yeah, nerds gumballs. I probably won't remember to put this in the description, but just 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 buy in bulk to save money. Yeah, you, you gotta get the bulk. You gotta get the bulk discounts. You can buy 29 of these, my friend. Oh my gosh, it's $6.66 per pound. Satan demands that you buy Wonka Nerds Filled Gumballs. Okay, three pounds in bulk. You know, don't eat it all at once. But, uh... Oh, sweet, it's an anglerfish. Oh, these things are so cool. I was so bugged that in Abyssrium, there's no anglerfish. It's one of my favorite deep sea fish. And I mean, there's not very many abyssal fish 
in, in that game. You know? <laughs> it's the rainbow again. I'm so glad we found that rainbow thing the first time. That was excellent. But it's called a Mysterium. There's so few, like, bioluminescent fish. Like, bioluminescence is one of my favorite things about cool undersea weird fish. But anyway, that, that was a lot of talk about nerds gumballs, but it's important, trust me. Y if you haven't had these things, my friends, well, maybe you shouldn't have them, because you'll gain like 18 pounds, but they're so good, it's worth it. You'll, you'll, you'll get a booty like this, I promise. You, you get a booty like a nerds gumball, like look at that, it, it's exact. It's a freaking pink nerds gumball booty. All right, well. This one got a little weird, but you know what? That's fine. Sometimes, sometimes you need the weird. Sometimes you need the booty. It's 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 all it's you know enjoy everything in moderation, including the booty. But uh, yeah, this has been Nobi Nobi Boy, and I guess we have quite a bit more to cover actually. There's so much. Oh, what is this fish? It's just it's just a carp. Did you know that goldfish are carp? They can breed with wild carp. Um, th there's actually a big news story about this. A bunch of goldfish pets were dumped into a river, and they grew huge. Like, they'll grow, like, you've seen koi in koi ponds. Um, well, there's goldfish in koi ponds, too, and, the, you know, they get big. And they look like normal frickin' carp. And they'll actually turn, like, brown, like carp brown, um, if they breed. Because they'll breed with wild carp and, you know, basically revert to natural carpness. And they're 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 basically an invasive species. Like they get they get really big. They're not like they're bred and like specially contained to be small and cute and quiet as in there. But uh, yeah, they're crazy little things. Oh, boy is trying to stretch, but he cannot. That looks he looks rather lewd sometimes, but that's fine. See, so yeah, this is Nobi Nobi boy, and I should stop before I rend more. Wonka nerds filled products. <laughs>